Madam President, I wasn't going to really speak on the topic, but it seems to have uh, gathered some momentum here. Um, I, too, have made some suggestions to the Minister, as few as they are, uh, my views on education. And I think the first thing I'd like to say uh, is that the Minister needs to stay the course. Um, I think Bermuda education, public education, has suffered uh, greatly because of the swinging door issues of ministers. And I think the uh, predecessor in the Senate here um, made this statement some years ago that the longest-serving education minister was something like 11 months in term. And there have been many ministers of education in my brief time here in the Senate. So the first thing I would say to the minister is stay the course. There is no way that he is going to satisfy everybody, um, and it is mainly because of the numerous issues that are faced in the public education system, and we've heard some of them this morning. Uh, we know that the infrastructure within our school system um, was and still is in, in dire need of some attention. And we know that a lot has been done in the last year or two to rectify the circumstances that the teachers and the students have faced within their own schools. Many of these schools are very old buildings and require an inordinate amount of maintenance. We've heard about the social issues that exist in the classrooms, and I've heard some um, pretty horrific stories of some of the situations that are occurring in our classrooms. And the teachers are trying to teach, and they're also trying to discipline students who have social issues. Um, and it's very difficult. I'm not a teacher. My wife is, and I know some of the issues that she had to face in her 35 years as a teacher. Uh, and that cannot be ignored. What I would say is that in any circumstance, uh, there needs to be a communication, a strong and building communication between the minister and the principals and the teachers in the schools so that there is a degree of consultation and at the end of the day, an understanding of what can be accomplished during a period of time. Sometimes I think with change, when we're thinking of changing our school system or making changes to the way in which we grade our students, the way in which we tell them how well they're doing or how bad they're doing, sometimes there can be too much change at the same time. And I think there needs to be a should we say, a rethink of what we want to change and how quickly we want to bring that change so that we get the teachers and the principals on board to make the changes that need to be made, but in a somewhat careful and calm way so that everybody buys into whatever the changes that you want to make and that we try to address wherever we can the issues that are before us, bearing in mind that there are always budgetary constraints which whatever we want to do. I mean, I keep hearing this time and time again. We need to do this, but we don't have the money. And we all know that. So there's no question that the minister, and this particular ministry, has a very difficult road to hoe. There are a lot of issues on the table, and I would just advocate that he stay the course, that communication improve between himself, the principals of the schools, and the teachers, and that together they find a way through this where they can say, okay, we recognize that there's these 20 things we have to do. We recognize that this is the change we want to bring. We can't do it all at once. So let us a group decide which are the most critical issues that are on our list of things to do, and let's agree to tackle those first. And I think if that particular course is taken, then we will begin to see a much better working relationship between the government and the principals and the teachers in the school. It certainly is not a position I would ever want to fill as Minister of Education. It is a very difficult position. I have no doubt that the minister is well aware of all of the issues that are before him. He has a child in the school, and he knows that it's important that we get this right. And so I would ask him to stay the course, and I would ask that there be, as was said earlier, um, a reconciliation, a coming together of all the players and stakeholders in this particular issue to resolve the issues that are before us. It can be done, and I have no doubt it will be done. Thank you very much, Madam President.